Hi, I'm Anthony Romrell, and welcome to CG for Me. I have placed some of my joints, and now I'm going to finish placing the rest. So um, I placed my lower back here, which is fine. And I also placed my neck here. I'm going to move my neck up out of the way. Move V-snap the lower back here. Now, I believe that the lower back and the middle back should all go below the rib cage, and that you really only need three joints for a base character. So my lower back is about this high, right below the rib cage. And then I place the neck right about where the neck would be, a middle part for a neck. And then the head, the pivot point is usually on most characters or humans, it's somewhere in here, or you know, depending on what your character is going to do or look like. I'm going to leave these straight for now, but you could choose to rotate them as you'd like. So to create the leg, I just duplicate the leg and I move it over. The easiest way to move it though is to just change your positive x value here to a negative value. I don't use the mirror tool. I find that it, it slops and changes the joint orientation, so I just do it by hand. On the arm, it's basically the same thing. You're going to duplicate it, change the x value to a negative number. And then I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees to the other side. And then I'm just going to change my rotate values. I still want x to point down this way. If I mirror this, x will point the opposite direction. And that's not the desired result that I want here. So I'm just going to change all these, swap the values. So instead of positive 5, it's going to be negative 5. Instead of negative 5, it's going to be positive 5. So now I have all my joints placed. One thing I do like to do is change my joint orientation. So I'm going to rotate this so that X is going down the nose and Y is pointing up the head. So this will become negative 90. And that's this is pretty much the basis of how to place your joints within your first character.